Hello, everyone. And our today's topic is automated substation hotspot monitoring system. Before we start, uh, let's have a short intro of our company. Acuopt is basically a, a group company of AST and Tamsons. AST formed in 1995. It is a one of leading infrared pyrometer manufacturer uh, based in Israel and India. While Tamsons is a 46 year old company, one of the largest temperature sensor manufacturer uh, has its production units in India, Germany and Indonesia. At Acuopt, uh, we are indigenously designing and developing various thermal imagers that are used in various uh, industrial application, defense, medical and research applications. Now move on to our today's uh, topic, substation hotspot monitoring system. As we know, a typical substation consists of a several electrical equipments like uh, current transformer, PT power transformer, circuit breakers, surge, lightning, etc. So these equipments generate hotspot due to loose connection, overloading, uneven voltage, or insulation failure. This may uh, cause breakdown of entire substation. But by using thermal camera, we can get early alerts of hotspot area and prevent blackout or power cut off conditions. Our spark view system, which is shown in uh, the right side of the screen, it is a one of the best solution for automated substation hotspot monitoring. These are some key features of our SparkQ system. It provides early fall detection for preventive maintenance. It comes with a dashboard and analytic features for future or post evolution. We can get SMS and email alerts on detection of any hotspot. With the help of SparkView, we can have a 360 degree view of our entire substation. These are the major component of our uh, substation monitoring system, a pan and tilt system, thermal imaging camera, visual camera, and an infraview software. By only using thermal camera, we will get only thermal image, which cause difficulties in identifying the exact location of the hotspot. So we use visual camera also which enables user to identify location with the ease. As shown in picture, uh, it, we can see spark view system provide both thermal and visual image. So one can easily identify the hotspot or a faulty area. And with the help of pan and tilt, we can cover 360 degree view, which reduces the number of system required and hence reduction in maintenance cost also. Thermal imaging camera and visual camera. So uh, in Spark we use our Thermcam 384 thermal camera, which has a resolution of 384 by 288 pixels. It comes with a two temperature ranges, minus 20 to 120 degree centigrade and 100 to 1000 degree centigrade, which is switchable via software. It is a LWIR camera means low wavelength infrared camera, which works on 8 to 14 micron spectral range with the frame rate of 30 Hertz. And our visual camera has a two megapixel uh, resolution with the day and night feature and 20 X optical zoom. This is pan and tilt system. It is a IP66 protected housing for both thermal and visual camera. It has a 360 degree continuous pan and 125 degree tilt plus 40 to minus 85 degree to cover maximum area with a single system. It works on a Pelco D protocol and provide ethernet output of both camera, thermal and visual. By pan and tilt system or a PTZ system, we can, cap, uh, we can set 250 tubes or preset which are saved in the system. Here, uh, one tube or preset means a single frame captured by a camera of a particular area or a segment. Or we can say tube is a, a movement of pan and tilt. After setting different segments of measuring area, we can draw uh, 
ROI region of interest and these presets are as per user requirement can be set. This is our InfraView software. It is a Windows based software which offers high speed real time data acquisition and image processing capabilities. This picture is an initial picture of our uh, InfraView software which shows both thermal and visual images. We can see both images in full screen mode also. Uh, we can switch both images, thermal and visual also. SparkView has a manual and auto detection mode. In auto mode, we set cures or presets with monitoring schedule, like every hour, every six hour or every 12 hour, it is a uh, user defined uh, schedule. After setting a schedule, system will automatically capture the hotspot of entire substation and gives alarm. Also provides a report of the same. After detection of hotspot or alarm, we can move camera to a desired location and check temperature of hotspot again in manual mode before visiting to the substation to attend any hotspot. Our SparkView system captures and save all tour or preset images and alarm, alarm images separately. In thermography dashboard, we can see hotspot in live and history mode. In live mode, we get details of current tour hotspot or uh, in history mode, we can check hotspot of a particular date. As we can see in this picture, the first table shows the top 10 hotspot with the temperature detail and a detail of thermal and visual images. The second table shows the unattended hotspot. All at, uh, unattended hotspot listed in this table with the temperature, thermal image, visual image and a column which is for uh, uh, attending the hotspot. After attending hotspot, we can we can fill data, necessary data like the action taken or a spare used in this attend uh, up, uh, click after clicking at the attend button. The third table shows the attended hotspot. When we attend any hotspot, it will come into the last table or attended hotspot table. We can see uh, hotspot data in tabular and chart both forms. Here we can see complete data captured by SparkView system by clicking on all record button. In the left side of the screen, you can see three buttons are there. All record, hotspot and monthly report. By clicking at all record button, we will get all measuring point temperatures and at spot button, only hotspot data will be displayed. We can also see data month wise with the frequency or occurrence of the hotspot clicking at monthly report button. This is the thermography analytics. In this step, we can analyze data of a particular location in detail. As shown in picture, we can filter data by date-wise, reason-wise or a date-wise. When we click on page button, we get a table of the particular uh, hotspot or a particular segment in the right side of table. For example, here we are fetching a data of Y phase of fifth harmonic, which is shown in the uh, top left window. It gives it a table form and chart form also. And we can compare different area hotspots or a different ROI in this chart. And this chart can be exported to Excel form as well as mailed to the concern user. These are the few benefits of our SparkView system. Consistency by using SparkView system, we can avoid the cause by variation in angle, position, distance. Also, error caused by a change in operator and setting can be avoided as this system is automated monitoring system and has a less human dependency. Next is periodic thermal data. We can get a thermal data periodically. It is independent of weather, so provide all weather monitoring. 
we can get sms and email alerts so that any hotspot can be attended immediately cost reduction it will reduce the travel time corrective maintenance and preventive maintenance cost now we can see a short video of actual system this is our sparkview system 360 degree pan and 125 degree tilt this is real time monitoring of a sparkview system you can see a hotspot detected indicated on a top of the software screen it shows visual and audio alarm this is the live hotspot detection the red line shows the hotspot detected and in all record button which is shown in left side of the screen all record provide a complete data and red indicates the hotspot detected thank you everyone